Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy player here. So today I'm giving you a tutorial of my assignment, which was to develop a micro world. Our chosen topic is on families. We developed a micro world, or as I called it, we called it family tree. So our family tree consisted of grandparents, parents, in-laws, well, specifically brother and uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, husband-in-law, wife-in-law, that sort of thing. But it's not—it's nothing too major. But it's a basic family structure, so consisting of a nuclear, mostly nuclear families. This part of the assignment focuses on your own implementation of a micro world using the software Protege to actually model the ontology. So if you pause the video right here. I've done some annotations to actually explain what I've done. And then I'm going to just go straight on to entities where I actually present to you my class hierarchy and how I describe my objects. So I call Owlers thing. This is always by default. This is how it is. That's always going to be there by default. If you make a pizza ontology or a train ontology or whenever you create a new file, it's always going to start off, start off as our thing, and the domain entity it's optional, but it's professional if you do do it, because at least whoever looks at your work they know what you're talking about. So right here, this section is more not only taking work from the group section where you actually formulated ideas, but you're also taking your own ideas, what suggestions you could have made. That could have been introduced into the original work, but it must have been too much or overwhelming. The time that I was doing this work, it was locked down and it was pretty crazy as, as it is because we had to contact our lecturers through Microsoft Teams whenever we needed to do meetings or get as much information about an assignment as possible. Anyway, I'm just going to just zoom all of these out. So, basic, basically, we're going to go through family first. So. One downside about this software is they don't do it in a hierarchical, hierarchical order that you want it. So I wanted the grandparents to be at the top and grandchildren all the way to the bottom. But this works too. So brother here I described as brother and has sister, some sister. So what I'm referring to is as an anonymous constant. So we're referring to an individual. This brother has a sister, but we don't know their name. That's just an assumption. Same with like grandchildren, so I'm just gonna use the key bind and just drop down on them. Same here with grandchildren. Has grandparent only grandparent? That's suggesting every grandchildren has grandparents. So they have a grandmother and a grandfather. Just like a daughter has parents, they have a mother and a father. You can't have in our case, we decided to go with the the religious way of having a husband and a wife. Not we, we didn't construct our well my model actually. I didn't take into account single parent families or same sex families because it is a thing in our society. And maybe if you want my implementation, which I which you have to contact me through my social medias, you might want to introduce these sort of families any sort of thing because we do live in a westernized world where there are different family structures out there and it's pretty surprising to me so I'm just gonna you might want to pause as you inspect through my work but again if you want a copy just contact me from my Instagram and Snapchat which I'll give in the description below of YouTube these they're not really too major it's just saying for example mother their subclass of parent they have subclass of this parent and parent is subclass of family so like let's say a father he's a parent he has a son we're saying he might have a son they might have a daughter because you know not all families might have a son and a daughter they might have a family full of sons or family full of daughters maybe even a family that's neither that's another thing you might want to acknowledge so that's the important thing about an ontology you need to be very exhaustive you need to think inside of the box when i mean inside of the box you're you're thinking about everything you did in your group section segment of the assignment as well as thinking a bit outside of the box things that you didn't introduce in your original work 
but you wish you could have, but you express it in your own ideas and you justify why. So I'm just going to close all these. Whoops. I'll be a sibling, nothing special. In laws, brother in law, so you can see you have a father. Every in law, they have their biological parents. That just sounds weird. But yeah, every brother in law, they have a mom and dad. They have brothers and sisters that I could have introduced. Same with a daughter in law. They have a father, mother, and parents. You could even say they have a mother and father in law. These are all up, up for interpretation and it's debatable, let's say. But other than that, spouse, that's an important thing to introduce. One thing I didn't introduce in mine, okay, I introduced their families, but you might want to introduce in yours aunties, uncles, nieces and nephews, maybe great grandparents, maybe great great grandparents, maybe great uncles, maybe great aunties, great grandchildren. As I said, this is very exhaustive and the way you express it is infinite. But I didn't have, time was limited on my side and I didn't want to go over the, over whatever limit was required for me to for this assignment. So now I'm just going to go straight into the object hierarchy. So this is important to mention, has relation, that's, that's how you're supposed to describe it. So you could say, well, I won't use has relation as an example, I use maybe has a granddaughter, so you can say, Joe has a granddaughter named Deborah. For example, characteristics here functional, inverse functional, transitive, symmetric, asymmetric, reflexive, and reflexive. So, reflexive is a relation to oneself. So, for example, you could say, has male John. You could say John is a male to oneself because he's a person of the male species. Okay, that just sounds weird, but you get the point. Irreflexive means it's not a relation to oneself. For example, having a granddaughter, you can't be a granddaughter of yourself. But if it was something like, yeah, that there's nothing else that we saves there. It's just, it's the relation that can't be to oneself. Symmetric, you're saying one relation can apply in one direction, but it can't, can't go in the other way. So you can say, John has a brother, no, John has a sister named Jenny, but Jenny doesn't have a, but it can't work the other way around. Shit. Okay, I need to correct this part. I'll correct it in the video. Okay, symmetric is when a relation can work both ways. So you can say, Joe has a brother named Ben, and you can say vice versa, Ben has a brother named John. And the asymmetric is when a relation can go one direction, but it can't go, can't go the other. So you can say has brother, you can say Jenny has a brother named John, but it doesn't go the other way around because Jenny's a, Jenny's a female. She can't be identified as a brother, which would be very weird. Transitive relations. This one's a funny one, but it's like you have point alpha, beta, and gamma. If you can go from point alpha to beta and beta to gamma, you can go from point alpha to gamma straight away and one of the relations actually demonstrates this so functional is when is a mapping of one to one so for example spouses you can only have one but there's other cultures for example in islam you can actually a man can marry four women there's several other cultures where you can actually have multiple marriages or i can't remember the special term they call it i believe it's called polygamy when it means certain cultures where they can have more than one man or more than one woman in a relationship there's certain cultures that can have that no i'm going to leave you to research that but in our case we went with the classic four to one to one relation so for example i'll take spouses of i could say wife of it's functional because it's you can have one wife but with a husband, it's in inverse functional. It might not be the case, but again, this is this is up up to debate, and it's up to you how you interpret your micro world. Next up is the data properties. 
nothing too special here, it's just set in sub properties, domains, and ranges. Most most of your work is going to show XSD string, that's how you're going to have to express it. I don't think any other data type in the exception there, but your assignment might ask you to analyze classes, object properties, data properties. This is another one annotations. You don't, I don't think yours, your section might need annotations, but my, my one didn't either. Data types. This, this section you don't have to tamper with either, so don't worry about that. Then this part. Individuals. This is where you describe your objects. So, my objects were Deborah, John, Nicole, and Molly. So, because our micro world wasn't big enough, we had little to work with, and luckily, we kicked out one of our members from the group because he was slacking badly like he wasn't even contacting us any of that so it made our life my trio much easier to actually work with a, work with a section of the model so we had to make our own interpretations and x y z blah blah, blah. as you can see here I had to do object property assertions types associate different individuals and all these other functionalities and the last part this is another section, but I don't think it's really too important. There's another section where I had to provide a syntax for making an interpretation through description logic. That which I cannot find sadly, but there we go okay other than that this is pretty much the work it is I couldn't find my the last part which was to actually make rules of inferences to actually describe my micro world but if I do and if you do contact me you will find out about it and I'll, I'll definitely give you the information you need. Other than that, like and subscribe, contact my social media if you have any questions or if you want this piece of work. Other than that, peace out.